Let's check out the differences between the Momentum 3, the Bose Quiet Comfort, and the WF1000 except for earbuds. At the time of making this video in Australia, the Bose Quiet Comforts and the Sony XM4s are both $300, and the Momentum 3s are a little more expensive at $360. Looks are in the eyes of the beholder, so I am not going to speak too much about the design, but what I will still mention is the size of the Bose QuietComfort earbuds case. They are huge compared to the others and definitely do not fit in most pockets. And on the other hand, the Sony XM4 has the smallest case with a very plasticky and flimsy case which will easily get bruised and battered. But the sweet spot is with the Sennheiser Momentum 3's case which are medium sized so it's easy to carry and is built much sturdier than the Sony's case. But when it comes to comfort and fit, the Bose Quiet Comforts are hands down the best. The Sennheisers have a fin in the middle of their body but it does not even come close to the Bose Quiet Comforts fins which are much more efficient in giving a much secure fit. Plus, every part of the earbud that comes in touch with your ear is made out of a soft silicone and not hard plastic. Also, the umbrella-shaped nozzle spreads pressure evenly across your ears in such a way that wear fatigue is a worry for the past for Bose, and that is why the Bose Quiet Comforts win this round. In my battery drain test, I had ANC on once and then off the next time and had the volume at 70% on all the earbuds. I also had all of them connected to an iPhone over the AAC codec during this test. And here is the result. While all the earbuds keep up with each other with playtime with ANC on and ANC off, the NTW3 can last at least 4 hours more than the other two earbuds in overall battery life, while being able to recharge faster over a wireless charging pad. So Sennheiser have an edge over the other manufacturers here. And in terms of connectivity, as you can see that none of the earbuds offer multipoint connectivity, but the MTW3 supports the most favorable aptX codec over LDAC support on the Sony and while the Bose has no support for either. I say more favorable because most of the times the LDAC codec is not automatically selected on your Android phone, so manual intervention is required, plus it is more power intensive whereas the aptX codec is pretty much always selected by default and they consume less energy. So Sennheiser has made a good call here. Also on my tests, I found that the Momentum True Wireless 3 to be the most stable and reliable with zero sync issues regardless whether I was streaming movies, listening to music or playing games. They even have the longest Bluetooth range with the first dropout occurred only when I moved from them 40 meters away. And that is why the Momentum TW3 wins this round. All the earbuds offer touch controls, but the Bose Quiet Comforts have one of the finest touch surfaces that I have used till this date. They are very accurate and has a bigger touch surface with which you can easily do a lot like control volume or ANC level, but it does not give you the ability to change tracks. With the Sony XM4, you can do pretty much everything you can on the Bose, but you will have to choose between either the volume control or track selection feature. And the Sennheiser Momentum 3 has a wider range of touch controls, like they will allow you to do change of tracks, volume control, etc. But what I found is they are a little bit sensitive, so it is very easy to accidentally press something which was not intended. So overall, I think all of these earbuds have their own pros and cons in this section, so buying either of them will not make too much of a difference. So this round is a tie. In terms of ANC, the Sennheiser Momentum 3s are pretty good and can cancel a lot more surrounding sound than its predecessors. But its ANC or its ambient modes are not better than the Bose or the Sony, both of which are really the best in this category. But if I have to pick a winner, it will have to be the Bose Quiet Comforts for their ability to cancel out more ambient sound than Sony. Not only is their ANC technology better, but the wingtips also ensure that you get a good seal around your ears, which makes sure enough ambient sound is blocked before even ANC gets to work, which is already very impressive. The Bose Quiet Comforts can suppress more surrounding sound to produce an effect that really is very very quiet. So the Bose Quiet Comforts win this round. The Sony XM4s are a crowd favorite because of their more richer and musical performance. There is a graphic equalizer that you can tweak to get a more neutral sound if you prefer. But the treble is always underemphasized, which cannot be fixed no matter what you do with the equalizer. 
Unlike most of Sony's headphones, there is no heavy-handed bass or overly painful treble on the XM4s. The sound profile is very commercial or in other words, made for the masses with balanced lows, mids and highs. The Bose Quiet Comfort earbuds also have a very consumer-friendly sound profile, meaning the range is fairly flat and even. Their default sound profile is more neutral but are less bassy like the Sony XM4s here. Bose's Active EQ tech boosts bass or treble automatically depending on volume levels so music feels quite dynamic at any volume levels which some users might find a bit harsh. In terms of bass and overall volume, these scored the least in my test with the decibel meter among the three earbuds here. But honestly, these are minor drawbacks and 9 out of 10 times they won't impact your enjoyment of these earbuds to the slightest. The MTW3s are specially good at instrument separation and harmonic distortion. Basically what they do best is when the sound level goes up, the MTW3 manages to keep the sound clear across all frequency range. If you can pair this with high quality lossless audio from Amazon or Apple Music, then you will get a very smooth performance, which I felt was better than having the Sony on LDAC as it sounded better and was also very kind on the battery life. That being said, I think if you have a refined palette in music, then you will appreciate the MTW3 a lot more. The focus is clearly on the mid-range and on the treble as both sound very detailed and authoritative. Now choosing a winner here could possibly anger a few people as it does come down to personal taste at the end of the day, but there is no denying the fact that the MTW3 are superior in treble range than the Sony and also it performs better with bass output and volume than both the Sony and the Bose. Coupled with the support for aptX codec and the rock solid connection, the Sennheiser MTW3 truly are a beast in terms of sound quality and hence why they are the winner of this round. The microphone of the Sony WF-1000 XM4s. Mic check, mic check, one, two, three, one, two, three. Mic check, mic check, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Testing the microphone of the Sennheiser Moment Come True Wireless 3 earbuds. Mic check, mic check, one, two, three, one, two, three. Mic check, mic check, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Testing the microphone of the Bose Wi Comfort earbuds. Mic check, mic check, one, two, three, one, two, three. Mic check, mic check. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So as you just heard from the mic test that all the earbuds struggle a little bit with windy environments. Especially when a car zips past you, they all add a distinct hissing sound. But out of the lot, this phenomena is more evident with the Sony XM4. So for call quality on busy environments, the Sennheiser MTW3 and the Bose Quiet Comforts will be better. So here is the thing. If you already own the Bose or the Sony earbuds, then probably you can stick to your old guns as I do not think the MTW3 are lips and bounds better than the Bose Quiet Comforts or the Sony XM4s that you should think about the upgrade. Unless of course you are dissatisfied with the sound quality, then upgrading to the MTW3 will make a lot of sense. Again, if you're new in the market, then I will say consider the MTW3 as they are the proper definition of what an all-rounder earbud should be. It has better battery life and the most stable connectivity that I have seen on recent earbuds. And that legendary sound quality from Sennheiser that is very hard to deny. The Bose Quiet Comforts are better at noise cancellation of course, but if that is not important to you, then the MTW3 will be a very good buy. I am not a big fan of the Sony earbuds personally, I actually do not like their sound quality too much, but if it works for you, then that's good, then you can just stick to your Sony earbuds. They are also a very good all-rounder earbud that has good battery life, LDAC support, good noise cancellation, etc. But that's just me, please let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed watching this video, then please like, share and subscribe. This is Nafis signing off till next week. Peace.